Hey everyone. Well, in this video, we are going to check the pricing of the Cosmos DB. So Cosmos DB bills for uh, two things. Uh, one is uh, database operations and another one is uh, storage. We already talked about uh, database, database operations uh, that consumes uh, request units. That's how throughput is uh, measured and charged on uh, Cosmos DB. So uh, let's continue with uh, understanding of the pricing a little bit. If we talk about database operations, they are like two kind, uh, provisioned throughput and the serverless one. Serverless is just like we have in Azure SQL database and provisioned is also there in Azure SQL database, but here uh, provision throughput is measured in our use and build per hour. It is uh, idle for large critical workloads requiring guaranteed low latency and high availability. You can choose between uh, two capacity options like standard uh, provision throughput and auto scale uh, provision throughput. In, uh, in standard, you uh, put the units there, minimum is 400 RUs, and it will not use more than that, but in auto scale, it can use as per the requirement. And if we are going to use multi write regions, then the pricing would be whatever for the single region, into n, n is the number of regions. That's how the pricing will go in the provisioned uh, throughput. And serverless is uh, as how many RUs you're gonna use for each database operation. Serverless makes uh, it easy to run spiky workloads that do not have uh, sustained traffic. It can handle traffic bursts uh, on demand without resource planning or management. Now this is this is all about the uh, all about the transaction uh, database, uh, provision throughput, auto scale, and serverless. These things we need to think about which one we are using, and accordingly the price uh, charge would be there as per our use, which would be per hour. We'll see that on the portal how much it is, and now we have consumed uh, storage because two things that uh, two things that Cosmos. Uh, pricing applicable on storage and uh, database transaction. The second one is storage. So Azure Cosmos DB offers uh, unlimited transactional and analytical storage. Analytical is more like we, we need to hook up the Azure Synapse if we need some kind of analysis that is not covered in this series, but for the pricing purpose, I'm just talking about and the transactional. Now, uh, <clears throat> This is this is charged as in GBs of SSD uh, because uh, storage always goes with the GBs and uh, there is if if you replicate an Azure Cosmos DB account across uh, regions, you will pay the total storage cost in each of those regions. It would be like. Uh, addition, summation of all that storage which is consumed. Your data is managed in two distinct uh, storage tiers, transactional and analytical, as I mentioned earlier. While transactional storage is always enabled by default, and you must explicitly enable uh, analytical storage on your Cosmos DB container to use Azure Synapses that I've mentioned. So that's the storage and uh, the good thing is we do have the reserve uh, 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 option here, like reserve the capacity and get the discount up to 65%. Uh, just like in reserve instances, Azure reserve instances. Now, apart from these, there are a few other things that we should consider for the pricing, like this backup for, or if you are going for availability zones while creating the databases, it would increase a little bit of the pricing. 
there is also something called dedicated gateway a dedicated gateway routes request to the backend partitions in your azure cosmos db account once a dedicated gateway cluster is created and azure cosmos db integrated cache uh, is automatically enabled at no additional cost it can be used uh, to further improve the read performance right it's optional it, it uh, it requires in in some kind of scenarios so it's optional so let me quickly get into the portal and show you what the pricing is okay i hope you can see my mouse now let me go to this now i'm on the azure cosmos db pricing and if i go hey it has explained what i was talking about there is a database operation pricing there is a consumer storage pricing there is a gateway which is optional there is three uh, the, 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 this is uh, standard and auto scale serverless and you can see here it's a serverless pricing for th uh, it's like one lakh or you is 20.317 rupees it's in rupees uh, we can if you want you can change that pricing but it's fine uh, let's go and check oh i'm sorry I'll just come a little closer here uh, multiple zones it has uh, for single region serverless accounts request unit is multiplied by factor 1.25 so it has a little impact on that there is a free tier as well uh, on per subscription let me go back here is the uh, backup uh, data pricing per gb per uh, region as well now here is the transaction storage uh, per gb is uh, 18 rupees per month which is uh, pretty expensive as compared to the blob storage and here is the serverless and here is the standard throughput where we put the 100 ius is there but the minimum is 400 and that's how it is charged in the standard right in auto scale this would be single region right is uh, 100 into 1.5 into one region that's how it would be charged single region right account with data distributed across multiple regions n is the number of regions okay all right and uh, minimum this is this is for auto scale provision throughput this is good to know information minimum is 4000 rus must be provisioned uh, for auto scale provision throughput which uh, will scale hourly between 400 and 4000 autopilot previously previously known as autopilot so availability zone do not have a separate change with auto scaling provision throughput that's a good thing so here under pricing you can uh, go and check how much it, this will cost you and if you go to pricing calculator azure pricing calculator and you type here cosmos select the cosmos go here now here you have all those things that we we were talking about on the pricing page you can put that information here uh, another region transactional storage backup storage it will give you the amount that will be your charge per month or cost per month for your customer so that's a pretty uh, uh, this is good enough for for the pricing purpose and uh, let's meet in another video where we'll be talking about monitoring and security and then we'll uh, wrap up this series because there's a lot pending um, i just want to start something else uh, it's been a while doing these uh, videos so thank you for watching and let's meet in another video take care bye bye